Hi! I'm Teacher Pearl and I'm going to teach you a math lesson for today. So let's begin! Problem solving that to be solved using five-step procedure. You have a newborn baby brother. Suppose the baby weighs uh, three kilograms at birth. You've known from your mother that the monthly average weight gained by the baby is one kilogram. Suppose the rate of increase in the baby's weight every month is constant. Determine an equation that will describe the baby's weight. Predict the baby's weight after five months using mathematical equation and graphical representation. So our first step is write the given information. So I think give information natin. Baby's weight at birth, 3 kilograms, and monthly average of weight, 1 kilogram. Step 2, identify which variable is independent and which variable is dependent. Okay, step 2, S is our independent variable, the number of months. And our dependent variable is Y or the baby's weight. Step 3, create a table and let X be the number of months and Y be the baby's weight. So let us have the runner. Step 3, number of months. So weight at birth, 3 kilograms. First month, 4 kilograms. Second month, 5. Third month, 6 kilograms. Fourth month, 7 kilograms. Five months, 8 kilograms. Okay, step four. Identify the slope M and Y intercept B and write the equation of the line. Okay, so this is the uh, slope 1. Kasi yung 1 na yan, yan yung average weight ni baby na monthly average weight ni baby. Okay? And then yung B ang ating Y intercept. Okay? Kasi at birth pa lang or zero, zero month ay uh, 3 na kagad ang kanyang uh, weight. Okay? So our equation or function is f of x equals x plus 3. Okay. Step 5. Graph on your own the linear equation or linear function using your answer in step 4. Okay, so, ito na ngayon ang ating graph. At zero month, meron na siya kagad. Sa so zero month pa lang, ay meron na kagad siyang uh, 3 kilograms. Okay? Pagkatapos, nung siya ay um, 2 months, ay meron na kagad siyang weight na uh, 5 kilograms. Okay? A computer lag charges 15 pesos for the first one, one hour and 10 pesos for every 30 minutes additional or a fraction thereof. How much will a user have to pay if his rent lasts for 80 minutes? Write a rule that best describes the problem, the problem and draw its graph using any method. Okay, so the answer. So given natin. Given information, 15 pesos, computer lab charge for first hour, and ad additional charge of 10 pesos for every 30 minutes. For every 30 minutes. So, ang ating uh, independent variable, itong x natin, number of 30 minutes additional. And then, yung f of x natin, yung amount paid or charges. Okay? So, ano yung required? Amount charges... In 80 minutes, and it is approximately 1.5 hours now, or 3 times 30 minutes na yon. Okay, so, uh, ano din daw yung ating equation of the line and graph. Okay, so let us have the solution. So, f of x equals 10x plus 15. So, that is our uh, function. Uh, 10 ang ating uh, slope. Kasi nga, ito yung 10 pesos for every third number of 30 minutes. 
And then, uh, 15 pesos kagad sa initial pa lang. Okay? So, at 0, um, 0, 30 minutes. Okay? At 0, 30 minutes, meron ka kagad na 15 pesos. Now, for first 30 minutes na additional, uh, mag-a-add ka ng 10 pesos. That's why, 15 plus 10, we have 25. Okay? Dalawang 30 minutes, mag add ka na ng 20 pesos kay 15. Kaya 15 plus 20 ay 35 pesos. Ngayon, kung nakatatlo kang um, tatlong 30 minutes ka na or 80 minutes ka na, ay uh, mag add ka kay 15 ng 30 pesos. Kaya 15 plus 30 ay 45 pesos. Okay, kung i-graph natin, ito po yung graph natin, 0, 15. 0, 15 at saka ito, 2, 35. 235. Yun. Okay? So, kailangan straight line ng graph lagi. Ah. At ang pangalan ngayon ng ating graph ay y equals 10x plus 15. A driver starts a journey with 25 gallons in the tank of his car. The car burns 5 gallons for every 100 miles. Assuming that the amount of gasoline in the tank decreases linearly. Right? A linear function that relates the number of gallons G left in the tank after a journey of X miles. What is the value and meaning of the slope of the graph of G? And what is the value and meaning of the X-intercept? Okay, solution. So, ano muna yung ating mga given information? Okay, so meron tayong 25 25 um, gallons at the tank of the car. Initial pa lang yan ha. Wala pang takbo. Okay? Now, sabi, 5 gallons ang nababurn for every 100 miles. Okay? 5 gallons ang nababurn for every 100 miles. So, pwede ito yung ating given then 5 over 100 gallons. 5 over 100 gallons. So, doing 5 gallons for every 100 miles burnt na yun. Okay? Ngayon, ano yun daw yung ating um, independent variable? Ang independent variable natin ay ang number of miles. Okay? Independent variable natin ay ang number of miles or distance. Ito yun. Okay? Tapos ang ating um, dependent ay itong gasoline na natira sa kotse o sa tangke ng kotse. Okay, ang ating equation ngayon, dahil decreases, kaya gagawin natin, ang process natin ng operation ay minus. So, G, uh, G ito yung ating uh, hinahanap, equals 25 na initial natin, babawasan ng kung ilan na lang yung, uh, kung ilan yung na-burn ng car. Okay, na-burn na gasoline ng car. Kaya, G equals 25 minus 5 over 100 X. So, let us have the table of values. So, for example, distance, mile, and then gasoline, gallon. Okay? So, dun pa lang sa zero mile, sa zero mile, meron, pa, meron na tayo kagad na 25 gallons sa ating tangke. Okay? Ulit na, ulitin natin. So, hindi pa na tumatakbo yung kotse. Meron ka palang walang zero mile pa lang. 25 na yung ating uh, 25 na yung ating uh, gasolina sa kotse. Okay. Kung tumakbo siya ng 100 100 miles ano, ay 5 over 100 times 100 so, ang sagot ay 5. So, 25 minus 5 20 na lang. Okay? Ngayon, kung 200 miles yung itinakbo, 5 over 100 times 200, so the answer is um, 10. That's why 25 minus 10 is 15. Tama ba? Ngayon, kung meron tayong 300 miles na tinakbo, 5 over 100 times 300, so the answer is 15. 25 minus 15, so the answer is 10. Okay? 
Naintindihan ba? So, if we will have the graph, ito yun. 0, uh, 0, 25, 120, sa 200 ay 50 na lamang. At 300 ay, uh, sa 300 ay 10 na lamang. Okay? Paano kung ito po ay uh, 500 na yung tinakbo? O 500 miles na. Meron pa bang matitira? Wala na, syempre. Okay? Kasi nga, kada 100 ay 5 gallons ang nababuhay. Okay? So, nag-add tayo ng dalawang dalawang 100, kaya 10 minus 10, 0, 0, ano na, 0 gasoline ka na. Kailangan mo na magpakar ka. A car rental charge, 100 pesos per day, plus 0 0.30 per mile travel. Determine the equation of the line that represents the daily cost by the number of miles traveled and graph it. If a total of 300 miles was traveled in one day, how much is the rental company going to receive as a payment? Okay. Ano ba yung ating step one? Given, uh, write the given information. Ito yung mga information. 100 pesos yung car rental charge per day. Okay? Car rental charge per day yan. 0 0.30 per mile additional charge. 300 miles travel. Okay, yan ang ating mga given information sa problem. Step 2, let X be the number of miles traveled. So, ito yung ating independent. Ang X natin ay number of miles traveled. Okay? Tapos yung ating uh, hinahanap or uh, required ay ang total charges. Okay, step 3. Gawa tayo ng or let us create a table of values. Okay, ito po siya. So, yung X natin, yung number of miles traveled. So, wala pa tayong miles na nata-travel, meron kagad tayong car, rent, uh, car rental charge na 100 pesos. Okay? Ngayon, kung ikaw ay naka-100 miles, mumultiply natin to sa 30. Ito yung ating equation kasi. No? No, 0 0.30 times, let's say, 100. Uh -huh. So, um, the answer is 30 plus 100. So, 30 plus 100, the answer is 130. Kung 200 miles naman, so, kung 200 miles naman, uh, 0 0.30 times 200, so, meron tayong 60 plus 100, 160. Okay? So, kung 300 miles, so, 0 0.30 times uh, times uh, 300, meron tayong 90, plus 100, so, 190. Okay? So, yun yung tanong. What if naka 300 miles ka na? So, ang answer natin ay 190. Okay? May question mark dito. What if uh, the travel, the miles travel is 400? How much will you pay? Okay, so for the graph, ito po yung graph natin. No? So dito sa x-axis yung ating uh, number of miles. Dito naman sa ating y-axis ang ating charges or uh, amount need to pay. Okay, what I have learned, I want you to arrange the boxes accordingly. You may use arrows or just write numbers 1 to 5 for scaling. So I have here um, ano, 5 boxes that you need to arrange using numbers 1 to 5. Okay, so let us have the answers. Yeah. So this is the first step. Write the given information. Second step, identify which variable is independent and independent. Box number three, complete the table. Let X be the num uh, let X be the independent variable. 
and f of x be the independent variable. Identify the slope m and y intercept b and write the equation of the line or function. And then graph on your own the, line, the linear equation using your answer in step 4. Okay. So, ito po yung ating evaluation. Pwede po pakikopya nyo na lang. Okay. So, for the assessment, answer the assessment on your Google Classroom. Very good. Good job. Congratulations. You have successfully completed this lesson. Stay tuned for more lessons in grade 8 mathematics. Stay safe and healthy.